It's no secret that the need for these things continues to rise. And with bigger call volumes and a bigger need for data, we need more antennas. We'll talk about the growth of small cells next. Small cells are one more way wireless carriers are getting their signal into crowded areas where you just can't put up a traditional tower-based macro cell. And today, I'm with Justin Dillon. Justin, so for climbers, small cell still involves some antenna installation, albeit in an area much closer to the ground. Exactly right. You may see small cells uh, located on utility poles, buildings, billboards. We've installed them on steeples. Small cells pretty much go anywhere. It's a lot different than being way up on a tower, right? But you still have to keep a keen eye on safety. That's right, Ryan. There's actually a lot to keep in mind. A lot of times you're in urban areas, so there's a lot more pedestrians. There's auto traffic. There's your, your standard fall prevention safety that you put into place. And because we often use man lifts for small cell work, you also have to watch for power lines and electrical hazards. There are several pieces of equipment, such as transformers, that could be energized, so you have to be aware of them at all times. Let's talk about RF exposure. Just because it's called small cell doesn't mean you're out of the woods as far as possible RF exposure, right? In addition to your electrical and traffic hazards, wireless antennas emit RF energy during normal operation. Therefore, crews installing these need to know the FCC guidelines and protect themselves at all times. It's not like you're 300 feet in the air like you are on a traditional tower, so let's talk about fall protection. You still have to take all the standard fall precautions. Know your surroundings and look for protection anchors on the site. More often than not, you'll be working from a man lift or bucket truck. But remember that fall protection is still needed when working at heights, even in those machines. Small cells, they're everywhere with more on the way. Remember, watch for traffic, electrical hazards, RF exposure, and be sure to use fall protection. And as always, stay safe, my friends.